line arises. Speaker, I ask permission to address the House one minute revised to extend my remarks. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, yesterday the administration held a town hall by telephone with seniors across the country to promote a health care takeover bill that costs more by the minute. Seniors need more than a sales pitch. They need to know the facts about this bill. Fifty percent who depend on Medicare Advantage could lose this coverage. The impact of the bill could be devastating. In Texas, 300 doctors have already stopped seeing seniors. Seniors' loved ones will be deeply impacted by the takeover of the bill, by the takeover bill, with a $2,100 hit. This is the amount the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office has predicted that early retirees, the self-employed small business workers, and millions of others who buy family coverage in the individual market will pay more for their health insurance. Instead of spending time selling a broken product, lawmakers need to repeal it and offer seniors a patient-centered health care plan that lowers cost and expands access. In conclusion, God bless our troops, and we will never forget September 11th in the global war on terrorism. The gentleman yields back his time. For what purpose the gentleman from Tennessee rise? Thank you. The rest of the House for one minute. The gentleman is recognized. 